All right, welcome to the English English Ghetto Cast. This is oh, that's Brett. That's Eric. And this <laughs> no, is I'm our pissed, attempt. Now I'm all pissed off. Because this is our attempt at a new microphone because I can't. Setup. I don't, my body doesn't know how to sleep. My computer doesn't know how to work, and no one knows how to listen to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get so rid of those. Cry me a river, dick face. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what exactly caused that echo in our twin mic setup. Yeah, we've had. A, we were using this weird program. Because for, for whatever reason, because, people don't, I don't know, know how to Earth use USB mics, and like I guess anyone who does anything audio is like a big band nerd or like a right, audio so they file. They only use traditional mic plugs like XLR into some sort plugs, of if, is that what they're called? I think I guess yeah. With the three prong yeah, the, into like a digital recorder, which doesn't make any sense. Like, it's like they I've don't got have a computer. U- this is a USB mic. I've got a USB mic. My computer can take any number of USB inputs up to the number of USB ports it has from any other kind of device. Right. Like you plug in a keyboard. And you've already got a keyboard and a laptop, it'll read them both. Right. But for some reason, these sound programs don't acknowledge the possibility of two USB mics. It just doesn't And so there's it. not an option to select a second mic as the other input. At least unless not on you use some middleware. So we're using some so everywhere we would research says you're supposed to use like these sound boards with like mic like real analog mic inputs. Which are crazy. I understand you need that if you're using traditional mics, but if you just if a basic USB mic is working for you, I mean, we have got a high quality USB mic. The, yeah, but the not Snowball. like super high end. They're just but not super high end, but I mean, it's fine for podcasting. Right. I don't know why the recording programs can't recognize two USB mics. Right. It'd be the same thing as it takes two line inputs from other sources. Anyways. You can have an external line in. Yeah, we just we, we're using a little software that was supposed to bring them in together as one line, and it did. And occasionally we would get this weird echo for one person, and I don't. We don't know if that if it was because of that software or what, because it didn't happen every time. But it's making us hopping mad. Yeah, so now we're just using like one mic, so it's a little bit quieter. And if we normalize, you get a little bit more of the ambient room echo, but it's not any distortion, is from what we can tell. Once we record forty five minutes of podcast, it's still fine. I'm gonna be pissed. Right. I'm yeah. Gonna that's what's happening. My computer. We do a few tests, just about like every time fine. for the last like five. Then we podcasts, record an entire thing. We sound fine. Record an hour hour and a half of podcast and then it output shows up. it start loading it up to soundcloud and youtube and oh look at that but it doesn't happen every time because then that would give us something to test right but because, every time we can start changing variables but right. since the variables are the same but the and results are different then what it do just, you do then there's only one truth whom the gods would destroy they, they first drive, drive them bad. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes or we're, we're in this, the simulation that we're in they're being tested by the aliens to see how we react to insane situations. Right, exactly. They just can't they have no explanation. I just wish they would have put us in a simulation, either the gods or the aliens, whoever it is. Right. If we're going to be in a simulation, why can't it be like how, much, how many women can you have sex with before you right, die? Right, yeah, exactly. Why can't they how test re- that on how do you res- <laughs> you know, How do you uh, react to waking up with wings and a you know, a and, laser and shooting penis? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or laser shooting and a winged penis. Right, yeah. Either way, it's something... <laughs> Fantastical. Yeah, like to test out what it's like when someone gets dragged what by these powers. We, what happens when we give somebody the powers of Superman? Right, and, and I would. And be it changes person. every day, you know, or something like that. Like, why do we gotta live in a world where they test mundane things? Like, like what happens when people post a truck on Swoop Swap Group and with no information? Right. Yeah. I saw, How much would you pay? So literally, there was a post the other day. We always come back to this fucking group of knitting, like just Nincompoops. subhumans, <laughs> <laughs> because they just continue to provide material, but. Right. There was a picture, like it's from a porch of what I can only assume was a trailer. Mm-hmm. So she's taking a picture from like a sliding door out this trailer through like a rail, a wooden railing. Like you didn't even bother to go outside and look at your truck. Well, I mean, like the door was open. She opened right, the side yeah, but I mean, what slot? So standing on the railing, here? you see like the the railing in the bottom of the picture to this picture of this blue truck that's cut the front and the back like six inches of the truck are cut off in the so picture. You can't see the whole thing, and it just says like how much. For That's what? it. Make model. So, yeah, years, no years, mileage. mileage, nothing. Does it run? Does it anything? Ridiculous. Can't even take a picture that has the whole fucking thing in it's it. It's like five out of ten would not bang. That's how you reply. <laughs> like <laughs> that, you reply by finding this person smiting them. Yeah. Like seriously, if I had just had God powers that point, I'd be like, well, this one's useless. Right. Yeah. Just, just get rid probably of that. good that I don't because yeah. half of humanity would be. Yeah. And all I would need to do, and what was funny though, it would uh, work out unintentionally to the delight of a lot of like social justice warriors and stuff. Is that I would simply be smiting half of the Western world. It'd all be the, the ones that you experience, like because you don't have to I don't deal, deal with, all with the weird yeah. people. Of, you know the problem. I mean, I hear about like speaking of what it leads to one of my stories here, but like the weird third world problems. But yeah. for the most part, it's just the we have the internet. We're doing a little better than a lot of the third world in terms of infrastructure and everything else. How come we're still fucking up like this? Or we got these people pulling like how much for what? <laughs> 
I don't know this truck I have a half a picture of. Well, did you maybe think it through? Like, might try to sell <laughs> no, it? No, of course he didn't think it through. That's the problem. I walked outside, my fupa slapping against my sandals, <laughs> and took a picture through no, the no, door. What you're referring leaving. to is a grade four panicus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Grade four panicus. Or panis. Mighty panis. <laughs> God of the f- belly fat. God. It's like Dionysus. It's like panicus. Right, yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's Donny Nice's hedonistic friend, like redneck hedon friend, like right. I just drink beer. It's patron Panius. saint of Honey Boo Boo, or right? Exactly, patron saint of the troll queen, mother of Honey, honey Boo Boo. She, God, she's ugly. God, that, that's uh, revolting. It, I don't know how Boo-Boo's, someone could copulate with such a monster. Must not look like that at some point. You would think that, but I mean, it does. I mean, that, that's not yeah. the case. People yeah, like there's there were some thirsty they, mfers out there. I don't think even <laughs> just typical thirst covers it. You know what I mean? No, it's yeah, just a no, different no. species of being that can, right. that can right, yeah, get exactly. it up for that. Yeah, exactly. Because like thirst is make you desperate. There's like the, you know that's that's one thing, but there's right. There's well, that's usually, the the term, that's usually what of, the term means when they use it in that way. It's not just like oh, this guy needs to get laid. They mean it's like it just becomes a maddening choice. Right, right. But I'm saying like no matter how they, thirsty someone is, a normal person they're not gonna like fuck a sheep. Right. You know yeah. I mean? And in true. my term, in my well, mind, no, that's what I'm Boo saying. mom is like. Is equally fuckable. The people as who get the a, she- a dead a sheep. sheep, right? Yeah. Like, to me, I think the people who use thirst, though, I mean, it's not always the case, but they use it to mean a person who oh, I know what it means. thinks like that, where right. they just think must screw, and so they will fuck a sheep. You know, not. Uh... Yeah, it's like it's. I mean, yeah. But anyway, seriously, like a hot dead body is would be like above her, <laughs> right? And, like, yeah. Things I would have sex with. Hot is it warm or hot is an attractive person? Attractive. Like an right. attractive, like dead person. Any temperature, dead person, right? <laughs> who was attractive would be above is above this honey woman in like likelihood that I would have living sex form. With Not that I would. Of course, I wouldn't. But that's right. the point, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I already wouldn't do this. I right. would certainly not do yeah, it's you. Worse than something that I already am certainly not going to do. Right? Yeah. So it's ridiculous. It's just gross. I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't know. Gross. Well, sir, world problems. Speaking though. of which, though, well, this this rolls into one. Some, uh, this is, I mean, it's just like, there's nothing to say about this shit anymore. No, there's nothing. No, I'm, I'm in a peculiar like, mood today, too, where I'm yeah. just, like, ready to hit the button. <laughs> the but someone, of course, this was on, like, some bastion of logical thinking, like, um, the Daily, UK Daily Mail or something like right, that. Right, right. Something gar- barely above clickbait. Legitimized well, clickbait. <laughs> right, right. Certainly not above it. Presents itself as above it, but that's but about it. some woman, you probably have seen this. Because I think it was on Fox or somebody. Uh, some woman did an experiment. Oh, and she God. discovered. Yes, I, I saw that this before woman, he licked him. But yeah, discovered she, this truth. She discovered this amazing fact. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this truth her, of the universe? Of her that, no, wait, that, that has been withheld from us for so long. I don't Until know. this mild informal study was completed. Right, and so now, I don't know. This, this should change a lot of things going forward. I think now that people society know, has reached the age of Aquarius, now we now can that understand people ourselves. knowing this, what I'm about to tell you will change your personal, interpersonal relations for the rest of your life. Now that you know yeah, that, that's and true. what she discovered was a dating profile made with her older, thinner self Younger did much self. better than her current fat, slovenly self. <laughs> Younger, curl self. Older meaning an older picture, not older like she was older. But yes, it was an old picture of her when she was thin. Not even thin. That's the funny thing about this. Right. Like, she, thinner. She right, was like yeah. a size... Like, she's Medium still overweight. Medium versus and definitely not, not really a little overweight. Attractive. Right. And uh, and now she's, like, just fat. And, like, what's funny... All, there's a couple things that we're learning. So, anyways, that's what she discovered. Was that men really do like thinner women. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! God. <laughs> right, yeah. The was stupid thing about that whole article, though... We're going to have to buy so many textbooks and right, exactly. scientific journals now <laughs> with this tr- cosmic truth. Right. The worse than that, though, was that, like, saying it like it's a discovery, was that the right. immediate after thing was says, Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm more confident. It doesn't matter. Anyway. I'm more confident myself in my fat self than I ever was in my thin self. So right. the real truth of the matter is, I'm more beautiful now. Right, and I'd be more fun to go on a date with. I'm more with. fun to go on a date with. So not only so did she discover something that's super obvious, and then completely, and completely just, like, cognitively dissonated. <laughs> because it didn't ego assuage her. Like, right. this is the truth, but you know what? That's not the well, truth because well, it doesn't funny, make me the, feel good. The whole latter half of the articles are explaining about she doesn't care about being thin because she feels so great now. 
But the whole point of the, the article, article is like, shit, man, I wonder if men really do like it. Right, better the whole point when I'm she did an experiment to find out if she was more attractive to the average man as thin or as she currently was. Right. Found out she was more attractive to the average man as she used to be right. thinner. And then immediately disregarded that by explaining it away by saying, yeah, well, I'm emotionally more confident right now. So I'm it's still like, a better date. Well, okay, I'm still I, a better date I guess now. that's good for you that you're in a better place emotionally, but that doesn't have to Sure any... it is, but it's not true either. Well, it's not true. It's just covering, and that's why it's so I mean, far some people but might let's get to say, a point where they just let's say, or have like just moved past that, and they're like, right, or they don't have to do You get older in life. You have more wisdom, more contentment with yourselves, even though you know to you're me, less attractive. Ex- well, to an extent where you're like, finish, like... You're less attractive now as an older man or an older woman. And you know it, but you kind of don't care. It's well, all behind you. But then at that point, you're still not saying, if you're truly honest and healthy, that you are more attractive and so you're better. And that's what they, they kind of get out of it. That's what they Instead of being say. like, well, a hobo doesn't have to worry about losing his job, so he must be happier. Right, it's yeah. Like, it's exactly. not really the same thing. Right, like, yeah. Yes, like, yeah well, a particular stress is eliminated because it's just not even an option anymore. Like, right. They, they, the ship of being attractive has sailed, so they're not really worried about it anymore. Right, yeah. Whereas when you're young and overweight, you're like, well, if I'd lost weight, it could be like... Could be pretty attractive, attractive still. Yeah. Now they're just like so far passive that it's not even wor- they don't even worry about being attractive. Right. It's like but a it's fat also, guy it's who not like just that. lets it's it all It's not even hang just out. the idea of you've given up. I'm saying let's say you <clears throat> haven't given up. You still try to take care of yourself, or you just are cognizantly honest. You're like, hey, yeah, you know what? I'm pretty happy in life. I've lived a good life. I don't really care about the fact yeah, that but they I view can't those get as being good- mutually exclusive. Exactly. But you would still acknowledge that. Oh yeah, that guy was thin. And that guy yeah. who's ripped is better than me right now. Yeah, well, but they, I don't they, care. They don't separate the fact that you can have that your self image can be separated from just being rational about right other things. Right, exactly. Like and your self worth doesn't. You don't have to feel shitty about yourself because you're weight, but you can still realize that that's not the best version of you. Right. Yeah. And also, you don't. You have to realize that just because you're happy with yourself doesn't mean that other people find you attractive, and that doesn't mean you're a bad person. But you just can't get pissed off. about You just can't that. get pissed off at it. It betrays the fact that they are pissed off about not being attractive. Right. Because they're so desperate to rewrite. Which what means attractive they're not really is. honest about saying that they're happier now either. Well, exactly. That's the whole point that we're making right. fun of this person for. But. It's, I'm saying I'm saying you can be the person, although sure they're can. very rare. Just like you can be the guy who is just is a beach bum and doesn't care that people think he's unsuccessful or whatever. Right. But, but to him, living in the sun off a hundred dollars a week is the best part about life. Yeah, and you don't see that right. guy running around trying to convince everyone that you can have, be a meaningful life. He's just living his life. Yeah, he's just living his right. life. But he's the guy who's like, to... man, is this a real job? Oh, that's the guy who really doesn't believe that. Right. You know, he yeah. wishes he had a high paying CEO job. Right. Like you could go to the, the real exactly. surfer guy and he wouldn't even take that job. Right. And I'm yeah. sure there's some fat people out there, but there, see, that's the thing is it's not a zero sum game when it comes to the body stuff. Right. You don't have to be fat to have like a positive body image. And that's right, what exactly. they act like. That's what they is act it like her younger, you have to accept thinner who you are self right now couldn't okay. have accepted who she is. Right, yeah. But now, yeah, exactly. Like you have to accept right. the way you, have you to are. Accept where you are now to have, have a positive have a, body. A positive, body. healthy mind to body right. relationship. When I think like, it's the no. exact opposite, like when you care about yourself and your body and have a positive image, then you're naturally going to work towards being a better you. Not out of like, but it's out of it's not out of seeking or like running from negative emotions. It's about seeking right. positive. You can have the wrong attitudes or motivations towards a good result. Right. Honestly, correct. Yeah. Yes, but you can also have the positive. It, it's it is difficult sometimes to do things for the right reasons. In that case, like you're not like you said, you're not just running from the oh, honey, right. People don't think I'm pretty. I'm gonna run from it. And then yeah, okay, I get that. You're tortured. And that's not good. But at the same time, it's also not good to simply sit there in your unhealthy state. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like I said, it's not mutually exclusive. But you, right. There's Everybody acts like every of reasons zero beyond just how you think you look to, to want to be in shape and everything. Yeah, exactly. But that that was just hilarious. So this right. giant discovery, earth-shattering discovery was made. Right. Men would prefer... We're going to rewrite all the textbooks. Women's studies will be studying... Uh, now, there was another picture, the, uh, though, that I'll, that I'll put... Um, well, there's a couple that made me think of because, like, her thinner self yeah. was not thin. Yeah. She was, you know, she was thinner. It was still like her, probably in. I mean, she was. I don't know what age. They she was said at. like size ten was the original picture, and size eighteen or whatever was her current self. So she wasn't yeah. overweight. I mean, it's UK sizing too, so I don't know. What I don't know going. what that is. Yeah. But it showed the picture. She wasn't thin. You right. wouldn't say she was fat, but she wasn't a skinny person. She was medium. Yeah. So medium to obviously she, if she's really pounds. put like an actual thin version of herself, she would have seen an even bigger, bigger. difference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because this wasn't someone who was so attractive. But to, like, that was the whole point of the, uh, the article, though, was that even an average person, yeah. just by staying not you know in shape, 
roughly, and not being overweight, has a market boost. Was this like wasn't like somebody who was a model who then got fat. Yeah, that's going to be obviously a huge disparity. Right. But even an average person can double the amount of people that find them attractive right. simply by staying in shape. Even well, somebody who's not falling vastly out of shape. Right, she wasn't yeah. in shape. That's the thing is, it was she was not fat, but she was not in shape in the first one. Right. Yeah. But then there was another girl that there was, she has like a fitness YouTube channel, and I'm subscribed to like 20 of them. So it's not just because she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I actually found it through like her boyfriend. I was subscribed to his channel first. Huh. So, anyways, making but all she, that money. Right. They got both Yo, yeah, that man, one. they're definitely making money. Anyways, but she had a picture of herself from like before she started lifting. Yeah. And she was skinny. Like, she wasn't just, like, not fat. She was actually skinny. Like, scrawny person. Yeah, just really thin, skinny. And what most people would be like, women would be like, oh, I want to look like that. And then it showed a picture of her now, heavier, but having actually, like, in Toned shape body. from lifting. Yeah. And it's no question, actually, which one was, like, more visually appealing. Right. You know what I mean? Even though she was skinnier in the original right. picture. yeah. You could be skinny and not as attractive right. as somebody who's a little bit bigger because just, but also in better well, she shape. She wasn't in shape. Yeah. Right. She was just thin. <laughs> She just oh, yeah, because, like, I'm a pretty thin guy. Yeah. And I'm not going to look as good as somebody who is, you know, just had better genes and better workout regimen and is always in shape. Right. You know? But it's just, yeah, it's just funny because, I mean, I guess it's just because of the way women are and the fact that that's more important to them or whatever, that they, they kvetch about it so much more. But, it, you know, it's both guys and girls. The truth is the same. In shape, people are more attractive than less in right. shape. Right, and people. I don't know why that's such an earth shadow why or why that's such a cosmically insulting that is truth. some sort of insulting truth. Right, because right. they even know it's and, true. And being happy with yourself being not as in shape as Olympic athletes somehow means you have to say that it's better to be fat right. than simply saying, hey, I think I could do all right as I am. And I, while still acknowledging, yeah, um, Michael Phelps or something is probably more attractive to me. Right. And I guarantee more people will find that person more attractive than me. Well, see, the difference you is know, they, like, they separate, duh. they don't follow what I call the meat suit principle, which is you are not your body. You are your consciousness. It's one part of you, but no, yeah. I know. But you are your consciousness, right, basically. Yeah. So when you talk about like me, you, it's it's that's what's you. You know, what I mean? you're in this body and you can't leave Maybe it. I get it. But it's still and the the thing is like when you're driving a car. Yeah. If you have a shitty car, you're like, okay, it sucks. I'd rather have a nicer car, but you're not gonna let it be like, man, I'm so ugly because my car's shitty. You know right. what I mean? But what they're doing well, is they're saying you should have not only should you just accept, well, like, okay, goes, I've got a shitty car. It goes back drive, to that they uh, want you to like love that shitty car and not even yeah, try and fix yeah. it when it, it's broken. It goes back and to stuff something like that. I think we talked about in a much earlier podcast, but uh, we're getting far into the philosophy bent again. So we'll do this real quick and then go on to the humorous topics. Um, I think it's a con- it's somewhat of a consequence. I mean, it's always been throughout history. Everybody wants to be a good mind and a good body, right? You yeah. want to be an attractive personality and an attractive body. Why not have everything, right? Right. Don't you want everything? Be it all. But, it, yeah, so, like, you just gotta... Unfortunately, most of us are born average physically, you know? And most of us are born average mentally, you know? And it just... Well, uh, speak for yourself. Right. Well, I'm We're not, not saying, speaking for ourselves I'm saying here. humanity. <laughs> yeah. Humanity. <laughs> and what is average is declining more and more. <laughs> Idiocracy is in full effect. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, I get it. The fact that, like you said, it's just your meat suit, it still hurts to some... To some extent, because sometimes you would like to be able to be better than you are, but you're stuck with what you got. I mean, to an extent, you can always improve much more than people think you can improve. Yeah. You can always get much better than you think you can get. Um, but I think a lot of it is because of modern materialism and other kinds of philosophical uh, philosophies and uh, changing the way people think about themselves in the universe. Is It leads to that desperation because since there is no such thing as the soul or the afterlife or anything anymore... How well you do here and how well your meat suit does is the only thing that matters because that's all that there is of you. You know, if all you were yeah, is I mean, brain pattern, they think it's obviously not true, but right, right. But I'm saying, depending on your outlook in the world, um, and I think that's just something that's kind of changed the overall philosophy. Yeah, maybe, Anyways, but anyway, we're getting esoteric. We're getting, yeah, esoteric here, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize. Uh, Here's say another, earlier. Yeah, go for it. About like third world problems that are humorous. Like tapeworms and stuff. Like tapeworms, yes. Actually, apparently some lake in India has like this foam that forms on it all the time. It's made of human shit. It is made of human is shit. Is it? It's actually, it's actually of course. It's distilled it. pee and feces. <laughs> and like bubbling and, like, ammonia bubble, or something. It, yeah, everything. And now apparently <laughs> it's not harmful because it's just the part that separates out of the water. Like it's not 
Well, it's not any more harmful than the, the other contaminated water. Right, well, it's actually some of the less contaminated Because it's just the like, gases it's just, But it just up. smells bad. Right. Like, yeah, it's just like the sulfurous bits and the whatever the methane that, that you, like, separates up. out from the water. Whereas, I guess, the really bad stuff stays in the water. Shit in there. But it's because it's saturated. With, so it's just these foamy layers of, like, you know, like when you pee and you get that foam, yeah, it's like, like or the sewage. sea makes this yeah. foam scum. It's separating out all the agitation of the water, separates out certain chemicals. Well, it, it's uh, urine scum. Great. And it's like, yeah, it's like, well, yeah. You're right. We need to uh, scratch that Indian America, beach the, vaca- or Ganges oh, yeah. River. America the evil. We do everything so wrong, like have closed sewer systems. The white man Speaking had to come of foreign, along. foreign problems that we don't seem to have, right. uh, there was some other article about some guy who. Uh, some Chinese guy who died all after like a 14 day oh, web, yeah. web binge at like a cafe yeah, and yeah. when they were, um, they came he collapsed at this internet cafe after so apparently 14 days and then he was like no put me back in front of the computer right. yeah exactly like, but you know, I was wondering like we don't we have a lot of people and who are obviously our like internet's fine or... yeah and we have a lot of people who are like we'll lose our shut-ins too but we don't I, don't I haven't heard of a single case in America of yeah. one of these like People dying from either a video game or an internet bitch. Where they were at it so long. Like, we take breaks. Like, the nerds I know well, who Even play if you're obsessed with it, like, day, you go to the bathroom Right, and exactly. Shit. They go to the bathroom, they eat, they, they go eat get nachos. Pockets. I mean, they're unhealthy, but they don't, and they still they sleep. Get, like, I don't understand Yeah, like, this. even our fat bastards who sit in front of the computer right. all day. They're eating too much. They're eating too much the whole time. Well, they just sleep, and then they wake up, and they go back at I don't know why. They never get to the point I don't of know what never this sleeping is, and is having in, like, a China and Korea, where they'll just, like, sit there until they literally die. Right, that's in a crazy. Cafe. I haven't know, heard of it outside of their home. Yeah, it's not even their house. Well, sometimes they do it in their house, like because they have that shut-in problem in like. But I don't know what Japan the cafe is. The cafe yeah. is because they don't have internet at the house, and maybe yeah. that's why they don't want to leave or something. Yeah, I mean, apparently, like, there's a lot. Maybe of you pay in- by the session, so if you get up, you have to like start again or something. I don't. It could think be something so. like that. I think it's just that for what they have to be reason, going to the bathroom is for fucking two weeks. Right. I mean, they have to go to the bathroom, but still, you never went home for two weeks. So he hasn't showered what? or anything? Yeah, like, what you know, like, I play games far more than I should probably, browse the internet, watch, you know, shows, just because But I mean, that's the point easy. where you're, like, that's hallucinating just, from sleep deprivation. Right, but, like, I have never gone so long that I didn't actually get something else done that day. And well, I'm not even saying there's people who aren't addicted. I'm saying this particular level of, like, web and video game addiction doesn't seem to happen in the U.S. That's what I'm saying. That I've that's seen. What I'm saying. And I don't like, know why. Even... If somebody were to double or triple, well, they may the play like eighty hours do. a week and do nothing else, but they're right. still going to eat and they're right. still going to sleep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Where I, that threshold I was saying, is even happening. if like on my worst day of doing nothing else because I'm playing with friends, I didn't have anything I needed to do that day. Right. I'm not working, and so I jump online and play with friends because I'm not even talking about you. I'm talking about someone who's like legitimately addicted. Right? No, I'm just using myself as like at the low end of the spectrum. If yeah. someone quadrupled my worst day, you would not die. Yeah, you know, like it, so. I don't know why they die over there and they don't die here, right? I don't some, know what level of obsession they have. Some part of their <laughs> culture yeah. or mind or genetics make them susceptible to that kind of addiction or something that, that they just well, they'll stay there until they literally die, right? Literally, the gasp out just to, to all they are is a big set of eyes staring yeah. into this wan body with like <laughs> frail bones, is breaking its fingers as it taps on the keyboard. <laughs> it's crazy. Or, like, its nerve endings have come out of its fingers and are seeping into, like, the ports, you know? Like, they're melded with the machine. <laughs> they're just shaking up. Right, just shaking in place. <laughs> and then they unplug them, and that's how they die. Right, yeah. Ridiculous. He is weird. So, speaking of uh, nerd shit, I guess, I saw the Avengers, finally. Yeah. And uh, I was I was disappointed with it. Really? Yeah. I, thought, I mean, I, I don't, was baseline. I enjoyed it. Was it was not a bad it movie. It was entertaining, as... but I was disappointed, which means my I was you put your my hopes for it. I kept my expectations right down the middle because I expected what I saw, which was that it was all the things we were talking about was, but just a little thing. overburdened. Well, for me, the the main problem with the movie seemed like, and they didn't do this in the first one, which is what made it good. Is that the first one was like story driven. Right. This one seemed like they had like a list of like ten or twelve Absolutely. things that they needed to happen, and then so, cobbled a movie around it. Right. And I was like, nah, it just seemed like a, shoehorn- right. a lot of things were like shoehorned in. And I think that is one of those things where it was a case of the studio intruding upon the creators because they wanted no, them. It's hard to tell. I mean, they well, need certain extent, things because of the way I think, it fits I think into it the got other overburdened movies. because there was a it was a largeness of things that Whedon and the writers wanted to do. And then there was also a largeness of things that the studio wanted to make sure was included to set up movies down the road. Right. 
Like they have to mention the Infinity Stones and all. Right. That stuff. Well, but that's that's fine because that's been throughout all the movies. Yes. Yeah, right. They've but I mean, they here. still was like a weird way of like, oh, he has to go to the special bath and like that whole scene. Well, that was one, just so they could have that scene in the previews where he like comes up out of the water. It's no, like, no, literally... I guarantee they cut stuff out because the previews had a longer bit there. I guarantee you, like the director's cuts, like they had a fuller vision for him to see because in the in the previews he comes up out of the water and instead of seeing Selvik, he sees yeah. a woman. Like he goes into the water. No, it's and like then, the whole point of him like going to this special pool or whatever right, it was yeah. just like weird instead of right no I mean it was a little aside but I mean yeah. it makes sense for what they were doing like basically they want to tie in that but the whole movie seemed like just a bunch of little asides that's my point yes is it no, wasn't no, I'm, like I'm a not big... saying that it wasn't yeah. overburdened with a bunch of little asides and a bunch of it also just seemed to lack like the gravitas of the first movie you know right. what I mean like, I did like certain things about it a lot I liked that you know like yeah, I mean, it was the char- like, definitely. I'm saying it's above average movie for sure. Right. It's just in terms of like how it stacks up to the first one and what it should right. have been. It, I was disappointed. Yeah, like the one thing is that the main problem is yeah, just a little too packed in terms of the amount of threads it was trying to carry. Right. And like a lot of movies these days, it's got to feel like it's got to have action in every scene. Right. I didn't even like the opening for that reason. Like there was yeah. no setup and everything, and I was just, right, like, just yeah. jumped right in. I like, like within- movies. Like you know what. I remember about movies, the movies where the fight matters not just because it had a cool move in it, or because it was but because significant the fight was somehow, significant right. to the meaning of the characters the or the movie story. Felt or felt like or, it was not significant, right? But. Well, just because they had to go everywhere and stop this. I mean, there was a few parts, and I, I thought the cool whole way. thing with like Hawkeye's family was pointless and kind of shoved in there. Right? Yeah, it was just a way to, try to and, flesh like, out humanize, his character, humanize right. it or whatever. But. I mean, it would have been fine if it hadn't been juggling too many other things. It, like, right. it was an okay thing. It's just that. Developing the well, idea was of one mortal man doing it, it was right, just know, like the idea of like having one of the spines of the of the movie be that this one mortal guy has to find out how he's going to work with all these superpowers. Right, but that wasn't like a but big the, part of this some weird issue was, that popped up in random right, ways. Right, well, it's because and that, then they'd go back to him being like basically superhuman and never missing a shot and everything. Right, well, I mean, like th- that's fine. They could make it the point being that he had. I guess we should have said spoilers. Yeah, uh, spoilers. <laughs> I guess he, um, it could have been a case of like, you know, he is the best that a human can be. Like, beyond most average dudes by far, you know, right. Olympians quake at his presence. But still, he's just a guy. And these other guys are all enhanced in some way, you know? Right. And so I understand that. But that was just like one storyline among many others. Like, they have to introduce the two twins and their motivations, and right. they have to introduce um, the, the coming in of the vision and everything and right. stuff like that. Which was not a bad way to do it, but there just wasn't a whole lot of time to do it. Yeah, so and so it was just kind of rushed. Like, okay, it's happened now. Move on. This happened now. Move exactly. on. Exactly. That was the real problem. Yeah. It's not that you even did any part of it bad. It was just like, and then this happens. Right. And then this happens. And right. Then this and like happens. they decided they needed it to happen, so they just did it instead of figuring out what's actually the best and most like, meaningful way to make all this right. shit happen. Yeah, and that's exactly what I anticipated yeah. happening. Honestly, yeah, I, I mean, I, I expected go, that, I but it was, watch worse. It, again. it was worse than I thought. I didn't think it was No, I'm saying in that regard. Oh, in that regard. Yeah. Well, it was definitely. About what I expect in that regard. I'd have to see it again to pass like final judgment. But I, my favorites are still the first Avengers and probably Captain, Captain America, America 2 is yeah. probably my favorite. Well, they're definitely the best. Because that one had the best like mix of slow build, good action, right. and like meaningful payoff for like why he's doing it and why they're yeah, fighting. And, then the and it whole, had like good just the old middle tr- ground of the amount of superheroics. Like, right. and just and enough superhuman action to be like impressive, but not so much as to be like it's all CG and it doesn't matter what's happening. Right. Because that's the other problem, too. That was one of my biggest complaints, and I know why they do it, and specifically for this purpose, too, because that's do the what? character, Ultron. But the problem is, is I hope I like the next Avengers movie. Yeah. They're not just fighting legions of CG henchmen. Right, of one, yeah, exactly. I want Captain America to square off against some superpowered villain where he's got, like, this guy's got a laser sword, and right. he's got a shield, how's that gonna work? And then Thor squares off against, like, some guy, I've got constrictor arms, right. or something weird, and it's like yeah, an not actual just a team. bunch of the same, because they tried to recreate, like, the ending of Avengers like almost identically right. where it's like an army of like fairly easily defeated right. things Minions. but there's just so many of right. them it's like, yeah and that, I get that idea that's a tried and true method in stories games and movies of like you face it, a faceless army of thousands right. but at the same time it's more compelling to be like okay this time you face a guy who's got a grudge against you you know like or, right. you know like think about like all those cop movies and stuff where they're not superheroes or like action movies it's like okay, Schwarzenegger's going to face off against Bennett and Commando because there's a grudge there, not just like a, a, a faceless robot. Right. Well, they also didn't... Oh, more spoilers, obviously. But like, I just didn't like... The, the Ultron character, I didn't really like what they did with it as much as I the, thought. It yeah. came across more like... I thought it would come across more like 
It's very different than the, than and it came across comics. more like petulant and like you know what yeah, I mean yeah. like. Well, obviously, what I think they did there was uh, the writers. Oh no, there's another. I just thought of this. What? I think they must be doing this on purpose. But like one of the best lines was cut out of the. Yes, and it wasn't like as amazing as the ones that we've talked about in the past. Oh yeah. But the the best line in the previews was like something he said something about hope, and he was like, "I'll take that from them." first right that yeah. wasn't in the movie yeah exactly or right. at least i didn't hear it maybe during it. one of my seven bathroom breaks but right yeah yeah i i literally went said, to the bathroom more than a pregnant woman he might have said we that because there was one scene that i think he movies. was giving a speech to scarlet witch or not scarlet witch uh black widow yeah when she was captured and was he was giving a speech that. okay well then yeah then it was cut out yeah I don't think it was in there. And there was another scene in the trailers too where it shows him like melting the vibranium onto his body. Yeah. He's like his hand is covered in like slag. Yeah. And, and like it's melting on. Yeah, because he never had his vibranium on the body. Well, it showed him in the new version of it. But like when he ripped his, his previous model in half, like when he was talking to her, remember? Yeah, but that wasn't supposed to be made of vibranium. Well, they didn't specify, but that's no, what it's supposed used, to be. No, because they like all melted him and shit at the end. He, was, yeah, he used yeah. the vibranium is what they said to put it in the vision. atoms of the vision. Right, but he was also supposed to use sh- the vibranium to cover himself in the do comics. It in the movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because then he would have been... Well, because he was well, supposed he, to have like a... Vibranium is still ver- not indestructible, it's just nearly indestructible. Because right. sh- Cap Shield is technically a vibranium and adamantium so mix to make the perfect tougher, metal, yeah, you know. Like, so it, it, that's why it's like mystically unbreakable, but right. you know, it's a comic too. It's just like, it doesn't have to conform to physics. But um, anyway... Yeah, like, so they didn't explain if that was supposed to be upgraded with vibranium or not. Oh, and one um, thing I like, I mean, not like, one thing that pissed me off, and for some reason this is just... The opposite of like, then. Yeah. <laughs> one thing that I noticed that pissed me off, and this is sort of like a... It's in and of itself, it only bothers me a little bit just because it's stupid, but it's always a symptom in movies that, like, tend to do these things that we're talking about. Yeah. And that's when they have, like, a mechanical being. Yeah. And the mouth moves like it's flesh. Like, yeah, it had it yeah. move, like, its lips and stuff. And I'm like, why do they do that? Right. Like, it's so stupid. It's just because they, and it's just a symptom of, like, because, we'll just do it with CG. And then the whole right. movie suffers from that because... Yeah, they, well, they do that because... Yeah, it is... It's not laziness, honestly, because it takes more work to animate all the mouth well, it takes movements. more work than to make them give emotions otherwise. Right. Or it takes less work to make takes, them give emotions. Well, it, it like just a, takes... What it does is they, they want to make the character more human. It's basically for the proles, is yeah, what it is. it's stupid, because it does, like... It does, yeah. I but think the fun. best part about a character like that is that it's not, like, human. Yeah, it like, makes for a harder Terminator. characterization. Right. Yeah, well, that, it was a very different take. Because that Again, skill is to, like, this, anthropomorphize something that doesn't have, like, a human This is big spoilers face. for anybody listening. But yeah. in the movie, the character of Ultron was done in a very different way than in the modern comics. In the modern comics, he's done, like, Skynet. Right. He's done, like, uh, an alien... Well, this one didn't really explain that is alien, it. Alien, not I'm, like you know, alien like foreign planet, but alien in the sense of like doesn't think like a not human. a human intelligence. Not yeah. a human intelligence. It was became sentient and thought, I am no like I do not have any of the same concerns that human beings do. They want me to guard the planet. Why? But that's meaningless. To me. I am not a human. The right. lives of humans mean nothing to me. So it decided right. it was simply going to grow and become powerful, it, expand itself. And rule the earth and plunder all its resources for its purposefully its own aims because what is more? Why not? Yeah. Like what is like what, you know absolute? Basically, it was the AI equivalent of absolute Nietzschean will to power. Right. It, it exists only for itself, cares about nothing else because morality. It's basically you know the representation of power without morals, without soul. Right. You know, and so they went a very different route and made it the idea of a mechanical body housing. A human but fractured intelligence. Well, like a true consciousness of some right, kind. Right, yeah. That they didn't really explain, like it was just in the scepter, but I'm guessing that well, Thanos scepter, was supposed to have created it? No, no, the, the scepters, or the stones, represent certain abilities. No, I know. But, so that one was the mind one, so when he tried to create an AI intelligence with the mind, it magically made it work. Yeah, but the point was that when he like read it, so what he was reading was not... Uh, Ultron, it was the Mind Stone's mind? Yeah, uh, okay. yeah. It was the ability no, of the Mind see, Stone to that, print mind. Because I think that what's... Thanos was supposed to have created Ultron and hidden it in there because well, he maybe. even said in the, in the scepter, end but he was general. like yeah in the scepter because he was like I guess you got to do it yourself right well Meaning like okay he had in, wanted the, him in the to scepter do it. but then the gem just holds the power to make it live or whatever because well, like, like the spark of life the spark whatever. of life right because but in, like the program in, I think was supposed to be created by perhaps by perhaps Thanos. yeah that's very possible but like 
Because in the comics, and of course they may change it in the movies, right. but in the comics, the Infinity Gems allow you to do certain things almost magically, right? Like right. They're just alter like the space. essence of whatever that, that, that power concept is. is. Like so the mind like power. So the mind power. So you can create intense consciousness. You're right. Or you can, you can do anything related to mind. Create a consciousness, read a mind, erase, minds, erase a memory. Yeah. It allows so you like, like a test circuit, like an energy over, version and then of the, one. The power one gives you power of what any energy one, you need. What was the like, one in um, Gardens of the Galaxy? They didn't specify the, the purple one. one or whatever. I can't remember which well, one. No, the purple one was the one from Thor two. No, that was the red one. Yeah, it was the red one. Was the aether or whatever? The aether, which is like the nullifier one or whatever. Well, it's like that's an the antimatter one. Of some on, well, then yeah, like I think. It depends on which one they do. Like the ones that I would hazard a guess is obviously the yellow one that ended up being inside the scepter is the mind. Is stone. the mind stone the blue one? The tesseract, tesseract. is the space stone yeah. because they used it to make a portal. Right, so it's like the, the so space it's about time space one. time powers, and um, so it can like vaporize and teleport and you know like move matter and, and move things move things through space and time. Right. And because um, and it warped you know Red Skull at the end of the movie and created a portal for Loki and, yeah. and for the army. Yeah, so it's all about space that's always space. The one from Aether and the one from, or the one from Thor two and the one from Guardians. Yeah. It one of them is power because like in the comics, let me see if I can remember. Nerd credit yeah. increasing, whatever. <laughs> um, mind, power, reality, space. So space is a is a test and rack. mind. You already said mind. Yeah. What you already said mind. You said mind. Oh power, yeah, mind space. power space. Reality. Reality. Um, there's actually six. Yeah, there's six of them. There's six of them. So it's mind, power, Let's space, look it reality. Up. Yeah, okay, you got dub. We got, we the, got internet. the internet. Mind, power, space, reality, time. No, time is separate. It's like space and time are two different stones. So space is more like position, yeah. Right, like warping and, and, and moving and, and uh, altering space, but time is literally like traveling through time and controlling the flow of time. Six infinity stones. Infinity gems in the comics might come up with a little. I find gems, nerd. <laughs> you're looking gems. up the Infinity well, Stones. I don't know up. it. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah but you're, you're still looking them up Thanos and pondering. The six Infinity Gems. Yeah, yeah. Location history. So I honestly Here don't know go. which they're going to say. It is. Power is the red. So the Aether was All power, power and energy that ever has or will exist. Boost it. Reality is yellow. That's the one from from this one well they see they've changed the colors then in the movies because mind is the blue one it says right yeah they've altered the colors in the movies so reality so it's mind reality power so reality was the the one in um Aether probably that probably was probably the reality one because they wanted to alter the nature of reality it had like to be, had basically was like before the universe existed that's the power right like they they lived in a previous version of the universe that before our current reality before like god or gods altered the soup of creation yeah. to make the universe Anyways, then there's space, which is purple, and that was well. Purple was the one they did in right. They in changed Gardens the colors the galaxies, for the movies, yeah. Because, um, but that was I don't think it was supposed to be. Because basically, what they did is they I think they messed themselves up with Captain America. So when soul was the one that you hadn't counted, right? They Power, messed, reality, mind, space, time, soul, soul. That's right, yeah. Soul gem, the spirit or soul gem, which that'll probably come about in Guardians too. It says the soul gem is sentient and has a hunger for souls. It's often considered to be the most dangerous and corrupt of all the gems. Mastery of the gem would allow you to control all life in the universe. Yeah. Time is orange. Space. So space is the Tesseract, probably. Because it says yeah. it's easier to exist in any or all locations. Move an object. So it's supposed to be purple, but that was the base blue for that. Right. One. See, what they did is they mixed the colors up because they mixed in the movies the idea of the stones and the cosmic cube. Because in the comics, they're two different things. The cosmic cube is the Tesseract. And it's basically just like a wish-granting device yeah. that... Um, the Red Skull always wants so they can basically like wish a, a so they, they, they had the power. Red Skull always going after a cosmic cube so they used that but just made it one of the infinity gems right and the then movie. then it became the blue stone or whatever or, or something like that I don't know but yeah like they and they obviously changed it too they you know the colors are different but yeah so like Thanos is the only one who's ever got all six of them right right yeah that's why he was always the big bad in the in the Marvel well, Galactus Marvel. I think did it once no no he he never needed them he just ate the no whales. it says. We may not have had them all at once, but it has like known owners here, oh, and yeah. Galactus is listed under all of them. Oh, okay. He's and, owned them at different times. But right? maybe not all at once. Right. I think Thanos is the only one who has ever had them all. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so like, back to Ultron, they changed it up and made him a, like, a broken psyche 
instead yeah. of an alien uncaring intelligence. And so it made for a more, like, I understand why they did it in one sense. It makes for a more, um, basically it lets them give James Spader reign to go buck wild versus yeah. just voicing everything in cold monotones. Yeah. And it probably makes it easier, but it does it does make it a weirder villain where it's just like, it's a ranting megalomaniac who also happens to be in a robot body. Right, which you made know? it kind of meaningless that he's in a robot body. Right, might as yeah, well have been exactly. Dude in a suit. Might have, might as well have been. They might as well have just made Baron von Strucker the bad guy the whole time. You know, like, yeah. yeah, some guy. The suit Doom. Hmm? No, Strucker, the guy who was the, oh Strucker, the guy yeah. with the monocle from the very beginning, who they like took care of. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Minutes. Yeah, none of it mattered. That's my point. Is that the whole movie lock, uh, lacked like a gravitas of the first one? Right. Yeah, Loki is just a better villain too. You know, like it just. Um, I think Spader did a good job. He made some scenes where, like, you're very captivating for oh, people to watch. He just do a bad it. job, but... Thing, but, like, yeah, I would have... I just didn't like the character as much as I think they could right. have gone with it. Well, I mean, like, I would have actually loved to see that, the kind of character they were doing with Spader as some other villain. You right. know what I mean? Like, a guy who's kind of off his rocker right. with great, big, crazy power. Like, Spader as some other villain off his rocker like yeah. that would have been fascinating. Like, I think he... Spader was doing a good job of an off-his-rocker villain. But making the office rocker villain a robot right. that's supposed to be a hive mind of uncaring super intelligence yeah. is a little weird. Okay, but, here but, they have the film version then too. Space, mind, reality, power are the only ones that they... So power is the one in Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Which is red, and but now it's purple or whatever. Yeah. The reality is supposed to be... The eighth or one, yeah, because yeah. they were trying to and change. Mind is the one we just saw in the Avengers, and then space, space is the blue. Yeah. So then, we time, were right. We were and right about this. time and soul are the ones they have not revealed yet, right? Which makes sense because the time gem and the soul gem are just ridiculous. they haven't done any time traveling in any of them, so. right? Yeah, it'll be interesting. They probably won't. They'll probably just find the gem, but it won't be used for any time travel because that just sets up all kinds of problems. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be a little bit. Well, I mean, a little bit. Like the bad guy will use it, or they'll have to go back in time or something. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Anyways, so that's enough nerdness. Yeah, enough nerdness there. Back to um. So I cross that. Wait, wait, I need my pen. I don't have a pen. Back to um. Interesting. Uh, oh, I talked. We talked about the Korean web ninjas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back to what? Some interesting, uh, just funny world news. Apparently, like in Malaysia, there's some like water world tribe, like literally living. They on live the like ocean. an atoll or something. No, uh, some people from or like Indonesia boats actually that they during, like link that, together. Yeah, like after the tsunamis, after tsunamis or or refugees from some internal strife there, they fled to Malaysia, but yeah. Malaysia won't accept them because they're immigrants, you know, un undocumented immigrants or whatever. But they kind of just tolerate their presence, so like they're not allowed to go on the land. So what they do is they just built a, a city on stilts in the shallows, and they just live on houses and boats in the, in the shallows and fish constantly, and then go to land every so often to trade. But yeah. They don't live on the land. Huh. And it's like, but it was just kind of interesting, and it's crazy looking pictures. Like the water there is just crystal clear, and it's just like these little shallows with seaweed and stuff, and the kids and people That's are weird. all fishing in it. It looks like if you didn't know that they were so impoverished, it looks beautiful. Yeah. And um, but what was crazy? This is what made me go like, and everything has to have a face slap moment. It can't just be a story. Or they can't just show you. They can't something. just show you this. Everything has to have some face slap thing where somebody mucks up the article, or somebody was like. The doctor or whatever talk, made some comment at the end about, like, uh, the, I think this is dangerous because, like, oh, these kids need to be educated and learn about their impact on the environment or something. I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, so they could be the messing people up. people who are making a poop river sea, in India. Yeah, you saw, <laughs> they, they could be messing up the sea environment in these shallows. It's like, these people are desperate. Right. Living in fucking steel houses. They don't care about. This person who's, like, using. Kilowatts of electricity a day, right. hundreds of Came gallons of water like every gas day. Boat, yeah, I using guarantee gallons you. of water every day, dumping flew, their birth control flew into to Malaysia, the, into yeah, the dumping their birth water control supply. into the water supply, melting down using all sorts of resources everything. to rebuild things, wearing yeah. clothes like for six weeks and throwing it away, right? Touting the the benefits of solar power while forgetting styrofoam. how much gas was consumed using to make that solar panel, Starbucks cups and right. everything. Yeah, ridiculous. And some kid who like didn't even use any consumable product. At all. as much waste as a sea lion does right. in the ocean. You know? Right, exactly. And, like you know, the sea lions shit in the water too. Okay, right. The <laughs> fucking porpoises are shitting in the water. All right. 
Speaking of sea lions, there was like this thing I saw where some article where apparently two or three times now it's been witnessed that like sea lions saw... like rape pang- or seals are rape penguins. What? Really? Yeah, what? and it's just this penguin like flattened out with a oh, sea lion on top, kind of, and it's like, it's kind of horrifying. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's hilarious. But the thirst is real. I yeah, guess. exactly. <laughs> penguins are higher on my list than honey boo boos. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh yeah that was disturbing oh well, speaking of weird animals seal rape stuff, that's in the like, title seal now rape. seal rape is higher than honey no, boo boo no I mean that's mom. in our title now seal rape no I'm saying seal, no, title is uh, honey boo boo penguin rape worse than seal rape yeah. no, it's actually penguin rape but... penguin rape but yeah seal rape sounds funny <laughs> seals are doing the raping oh, seal penguins. rapists seal rapists where are seals they, they, they did not get positive consent right no, certainly not <laughs> certainly not um. Apparently, there was some. This is a kind of a non-story, which is kind of humorous. You know, animals are more goofy and and more intelligent in their own weird ways than we give them credit for. Like, just some koala walked into an Australian zoo, uh, Australian hospital, just walked in the front door, just like strolled around. They had it on camera, and just like walked up and down the receiving yeah. area, and like looked around everywhere, and then kind of went, and then left, and then left. You know, like, it was like I've seen this place here for a while. I thought, I'd, I'd, check thought I'd check it out. In. Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> didn't come in like scared and be like right. oh god where am I I thought there might be food in here it's like, probably rabid right? yeah it might have been it just never happened upon anybody so it didn't freak out but like it was trolling for right. flesh for eucalyptus for eucalyptus flesh <laughs> all of a sudden human beings smell like eucalyptus eucalyptus <laughs> yeah but, this, this is totally unrelated but I saw this is not available for purchase yet but there is a uh, some company came out with a um a shotgun that mounts under under your AR-15, which they yeah, have yeah. made before. This was like a rotary one. Yeah, you saw it. It's yeah. a six-shooter one. Six-shooter, so they can pack it. Like so it like doesn't a have a magazine. Or a magazine-based one that ex- extends a whole lot of area past the barrel or under the... Well, not room. only that, but you don't have to perform any action to, to pump it. Because right. it's like a revolver. Like when you squeeze the trigger, it rotates the right. cylinder. Yeah, exactly. Bam. So it makes it more usable for an undercarriage slung weapon like that. Right. Because it's a lot more compact. And all the action is contained in the shape of the thing as well. And you don't have to rack it, um, except for maybe the first time or whatever. Or not even that, I guess. It's double action revolver. You You don't have to rack it at all. You just slap the whole... And the the cylinder comes out like a magazine and you can pop a new one in. So you don't have to like load individual slugs. Right, yeah, exactly. So I thought that because most of the time they use those for breaching. Right, so it's a secondary function on the gun. But for a normal person who's not breaching, you could still use it as like... I imagine like it would be a good thing to have... Right, you obviously have... First of all, you have two weapons. You, you actually have two weapons. So if one fails, and more ammo, more ammo. This is an extra six rounds without changing magazine. It's two weapons. So in case you have a catastrophic failure, you still have a weapon. And you can have, you know, and I like it as an idea of when you're changing magazines, you can like boom, squeeze the trigger if someone like runs up on you. Even right. if the magazine's out of the gun, you don't have to like draw a sidearm. Right, that's true. Like yeah, that. learn to do a one-handed reload. Have your While other hand like on, on that the shotgun, trigger, yeah. you know, and you still so you're holding still the pointing corner, it, right? You know, still holding the corner there, like holding the angle, or something. It's right, like, or if somebody runs up close on you, or you, you know, you can just grab. Or maybe one. put a non-lethal. I mean, that would, you always want to be careful with that shit because if you have one that's lethal, one that's non-lethal, you don't want to get them mixed up. Yeah, but you could have all non-lethal in the shotgun. That's what I mean. But still, lethal, if right, you're like, still, I would not advise that. Like, I would just say to shoot some non-lethal. But it would still be useful for. Buckshot and that, rifle rounds in your rifle, right. obviously. And then let's say you're worried about like over penetration or something like that. Right. I mean, a buckshot's still going to penetrate a whole hell of a lot. Right. People worry about that too much because the chances of somebody being in that other room, basically, you just need to make sure that whatever's in the other room through where you're shooting is not something you're worried about hitting. Yeah, but bottom but, line is you don't want to be worrying about. Bottom line is you want to sure shoot the other guy. Yeah, exactly. Man. Make sure you shoot the other guy. And um, but you could put all yeah you could put all sorts of different ammunition in the in the shotgun. Instead of the rifle. Right. Have different specialty ammunition or something. Right, yeah. And you could also just, in, if nothing else, simply having a shotgun round in there, your regular shotgun If nothing rounds. else, you're carrying two weapons and two, two uh, and more ammunition more right. easily. Right, so you run out of the magazine. Instead of reloading, you just move to the shotgun. Or right. if the guy's in close, you pull up, you grab your weapon in the middle of the night, guy, you know, and you think, I don't know what's out there. You just decide you're going to use the shotgun first well, the best and then one switch I saw to was long range. handle, like a foregrip. So yeah. your hand is always on your hands are always on both triggers. Right, exactly. So awesome. you just learn to like, <laughs> yeah, like you know, <laughs> come in, and if something comes into si- if enemy comes into sight, you identify him at like five feet. Shotgun, Rats, you yeah, know, blast him with the shotgun. Or and also, you, just if nothing else, it gives you, like I said, two different weapons that would have to fail, and, and 30, 30 or forty six rounds instead of 
30 or 40 rounds. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I'll definitely if nothing else, it's more like video games, which is always I'll fun. I'll definitely like, buy Because oh, <laughs> yeah. the main problem with them, though, is shotguns in most places to not have to have the tack stamp and everything. It has to have an 18-inch barrel from the, the breech. Yeah, yeah. So that's long. Yeah, coming you know, out underneath. If it's coming the, out in front of the so magazine. So it's probably military purposes because of all the ATF bullshit. Yep, because you can't. Well, also because it just makes more sense to not have a super long thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, they, they, I don't think they're going to make a super long version of it. So. I mean, they'll make the 18 inch version, I'm sure. Yeah, but it's still, that's unwieldy. They'll probably it's make not it. that bad. 18 inches is only like that. It'll stick yeah, out yeah. past your barrel. Yeah, but that's not exactly. by a whole Not, whole not, whole not a whole lot, I guess. I mean, it well, would be well, bad for me to not get it. It's got to be 18 inch past the breach. The breach, where the, so overall the length of the thing is going to be like 25, 24 inches. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Because I mean, because the length of the shotgun shell's got to be—it's got to be, it's gotta be at like least this. three inches for the for the. Um, I mean, it does stick out past the barrel, right? It was yeah. called like the six twelve or something. Six twelve shotgun release. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like a six six shooter twelve gauge. Twelve gauge, yeah. It's cool looking. I saw it's it. It's awesome. pretty sweet. It's definitely awesome. It would just be nice if we didn't have to worry about the eight inch. And like it comes apart wheel. like you can put a stock on it, so you can use it as right. That was a cool thing too. It's like you a still the, the six shooter shotgun. End, with the trigger and it that looks like fits underneath the M16 can be detached or unmounted and then slid into See, a this rear is like stock an system. Barrel. And because it's a six shooter and not like a breech, it needs less space. So that yeah, looks like yeah. it would be 18 That's inches. That's not too bad. And it doesn't stick. That's it only sticks. But I'm an saying, like, if you have like a short uh, barrel, um, yeah, but if you're going for short, you're 16. not going to slap a shotgun under there. Well, I mean, for like you know, close in fighting like that, like you have a r- roughly short barrel uh, M16 or right. AR for you know. Meant for. I want to see the one that showed it with a handle on the front, or whatever kind of Because that was that was the best. Yeah. Was so speaking called? of gun stuff, I I've been waiting for Magpul's new like uh, AK furniture for a while yeah, now. Yeah, you told me about that. And I put in like an email address on one of the sites that I buy gun parts from and stuff to notify and you. notify me when it comes available. Came available like yesterday. Sweet. I was like, cool. I waited like two hours. So I was and like, oh, they sold just, out. and it's already back out of stock. Damn. Like they only they probably only got like a hundred in or something, and we'll then put in an order like, at least so you'll be on the list. Yeah, yeah. I, I put myself to be notified again. If it and if it comes up again, I'm just gonna place a back order. But um, yeah, just crazy. It's like man, that's popular. Or they might have had a much smaller order of these things than I thought. Yeah. But um. But yeah, so still got the crappy wire folder on my AK for now. Then, I mean, which does yeah. it works. It's just it's not comfortable. It's not a good cheek weld. And it just looks like shit. It says the salvo has been out for months. There are no rod, there are rod kits that take it down to six inches. What's the sal- I mean, I guess they're talking about a shorter version of this. Is that what it's called? The the 1612 salvo or something? Well, no, this one's called the 612. It's a cry precision is the company that made it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, no, the salvo is a silencer for it. Oh, oh okay. A 12 gauge silencer. Yeah, all right. I don't give a shit about that. I want the fucking thing to put. I don't. I'm getting. I'm planning on getting an AR. Ruger actually made two different. Did I tell you about this last yeah, time? Was that me. on the podcast? I don't, I don't think, think it was so. on the podcast. Well, Ruger came out with the the uh, AR. Oh no, the SR five five six, which is their AR fifteen, like a really high quality one. Yeah. But made it was like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred bucks. Right. So not outrageous, but expensive. Yeah. But then they came out with the AR five five six, which is like their bargain. Right. Which still has a regular Ruger quality, and that's only like six hundred bucks. Wow. So it's really cheap, and I haven't been able to find anything negative about it. Like it's just right. not fancy; it's just a right. basic AR. But sometimes but that's it's what you want if you bucks. tend to buy a like, lot of the furniture and stuff right. that fits. Or you exactly can always swap out parts later individually. Right. And so that's why I'm, I'm going to swap out a couple, probably my guns that I never use. Yeah. And buy one. I also want to get a um, an Airweight thirty eight special yeah. for concealed, more concealed carry. Gotcha. I like those. I've never fired one of those. They're not. They're one of those that aren't extremely fun to fire because they're right, small and very lightweight. And everything, but it's, it's but meant for like somebody gets within knife range of you. you well, it's just a concealed gun carry gun. Yeah, exactly. it's not meant for target shooting at, at fifty yards. You know? Right. <laughs> but it's they're you know revolver, hammerless revolver. So right. Yeah. No bullshit. No mistakes or anything like that. Totally unrelated to all of this. I'm just browsing the news sites. More news site stuff for conversation topics. Uh, apparently. The first espresso was made in space recently. Oh, you mean the space just had its first espresso? I thought space you were going to say that the first ever espresso was made in space. Yeah. 
like they. Oh, really? Yeah, like an so, Italian like in astronaut. The 60s, you mean. A woman who was uh, is the current Italian astronaut on the International Space Station. Yeah. Uh, made they made a spe- when she went up. They, I guess they took along a specially made espresso machine that could cook at zero G. Oh, because that's what espresso is. Is it like is pressuring it. through a packed in like exactly. ground? Because like, they couldn't do a gravity fit. You couldn't just do a coffee. And they realized you know? like oh, well, because it's drip it's system, drip. it never worked. Right. So you they had do a to like prefab coffee of some kind that coffee like the coffee that you, you dissolve in the water and then you just heat up yeah. and stir. But doing an actual espresso has to be made right then. It's got to pass through the ground well, at a certain through, temperature, really, force through the ground. Mixed with a foamed milk, you know, or well, that's a latte, but yeah, you know, espresso is is it's a it's a and then they're like, holy form. shit, this is good and right. quick. It's like a super fast way of making like ex- high concentrated coffee. coffee. Yeah, so like they made some specialized espresso machine that made space, and then I looked at it and I thought it was fake for a second. Yeah, because you look, at, it was like this is a Star Trek uniform. So, uh, she was also a Star Trek fan and wore a Star Trek uniform because there space. was yeah, a Star Trek like uniform in space from like <laughs> Star Trek um, Deep Space Nine it wasn't or something. The red one, right? Because those yeah. are the ones that always die, don't they? Well, no, in uh, Next Generation, it's not. Red oh. is Command in Next Generation. Oh, okay. Yellow was Command in. Uh, Yellow is secure. They switched it up. For some reason, in the next generation, the red shoulder, because it was just yeah. like everything's black except for the shoulders, right? Right. And then, um, or like just the front. The piece, triangle the, thing the triangle or thing. Yeah. And like the the red is com- like commanders in next generation and the yellow is security. But in the original, the red ones. The red red died. shirts where the guys always die. <laughs> the then they switched. Guys yeah, going... name was... So in the next generation episodes, everything after that, the yellow shirts where the guys always die. <laughs> But it just like, sounds hey, fun to say yellow shirts. It's, and they're like, oh. it's, yeah, it's like, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm crewman. They're like, you have, like, like give, give me a name, name guy. What was that on, like, Galaxy Quest? Galaxy Quest, yeah. yeah it's you, like, got a last hey, name? Honey, you got a last name, guy? Do I? <laughs> Do I? You know, like, yeah. I don't remember my own name. I'm just crewman guy. I'm going to die. Yeah, and, um, yeah, but then, uh, so I thought it was a joke at first. Yeah. But then apparently she did it because she was making a joke. It's like she quoted some. The, that like I oh, guess coffee the finest you know organic suspension ever created or something <laughs> weird like that but uh, that's funny some goofy thing I thought it was a, a farce at first I'm like this is not a person this is not an a-, a real astronaut right. it's like a photoshop of some Star Trek uh, fan girl by in, a wire in, by, you know in space well it didn't even look like that the picture was them in like the bubble one of the pods of the space station where you can see out into space and they're just looking up through it while holding a little like right. so espresso cup thing. which would also be weird because the espresso cup would not contain the espresso in space no because yeah, you, you would could out of simply it. by f- doing a scooping but motion you could really force drink the, out the of liquid a cup. to you'd drag like, into suck it up the glob. you literally just have to suck up the glob yeah like you gotta down the whole thing by just eating the glob of, of fluid in zero G yeah that's gotta be so weird that would be fun as hell, though, to go up into the yeah, space oh, station. Yeah. That's got to be so weird. One of these days, it won't cost you a small fortune and then a risky trip to Russia to make a private space <laughs> private space trip. But for now, we are all uh, earthbound. <laughs> yep. On yeah. the depressing news stories. Depressing or pressing? Depressing. Oh, pressing right. and depressing. Um, apparently more movie. revealed from the people digging through all the Snowden leaked stuff was that the NSA has had for almost a decade now programs where it records phone calls store they just doing their mass data collection right not only do they collect you know digital like text stuff but they collect the phone calls and then run them through a program that um does like voice to text recognition so then they can search the phone calls later like for keywords oh like it like does basically makes digital voice to voice, text voice to text transcripts then, of the phone and calls archives that it. archives it and so that they can uh, search through phone calls for keywords it's ridiculous it's like it's such, the stupid thing about it is it's such paranoia that right. you must control everything and you know they're barely stopping anything the Boston bombings didn't well, get stopped like, what How are they going to search, the search for like the guys just going to use code words well, not only that, I'm saying even when they do, I guarantee you people have talked about actual crimes all goddamn day. Well, the only way they can do it is to is after the fact. It's go back and find it. You know right. what I mean? Like, it's, they can't stop it. But it also it. just shows the intent. They don't really care to stop crime. They're no. not using this in some sort of modern regular crime doesn't threaten state any where they, of their power. Exactly. 
They don't care if they're really there just murdered. against quote unquote terrorists, right? Which is more and more meaning citizens who question anyone who dis- what they do. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to go against their their enemies, whoever right. their enemies. So right are, now, are this, is, get the this is getting us their... on that list because they're going to yeah. voice the text this podcast. Oh, I got something search. for you. Smoke you. Right, yeah. <laughs> Negative. I am a meat popsicle. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke you. All right. No, oh, that's fun. And also, in other depressing news, uh, somebody, I guess, like, I don't know, maybe they were looking into it just because of the recent Baltimore riots or something. I don't know how it's supposed to relate to it, but um, probably doesn't. But apparently, uh, 20% of jobs in the city of Baltimore are government jobs. Yes, I just saw that on Drudge. Yeah. Six Not times surprising. the amount of manufacturing jobs. It's well, like that's, that's just an overall statement of the American be a economy. Hilarious collapse. Yeah, because that's not because the government jobs don't produce anything. As they say, that which can't last forever won't. Well, yeah, exactly. But it's just funny that people think it, it will because it's the way it well, is. Because it has for as far as they can. Remember. It has for a decade. But it's right. like, look, that's nothing in the course of civilizations, yeah, exactly. and nothing in the course of Earth. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be interesting. We're going to see some crazy shit Overall, America's a fairly We're young, fairly some... failured society yeah. that it's only made it 300 years, you know. Yeah. Although that's actually, every society seems to have about... Years. That would be 2076, right? You got not quite 30 years, but I'm saying like rough. But America existed prior to the revolution in, in some sense, you know. Like it just only became itself at that time. Right, but this yeah. modern experiment has been going since at the earliest... 1913, really, with the Federal yeah, like Reserve 19, and everything. Or let's say even like the late 1800s with industrialization kicking in. Well, I'm just saying like the current like, economy and the way it's set up. Yeah. Yeah. But even that, yeah, it's not lasting long at all in the course of civilization. And someone else said like, oh, it's been working so far. And I'm like, that's like saying jumping to get down from a cliff has been working Until you hit the bottom. Like, hey, yeah. I'm getting there so much faster than the guy who's rappelling. Yeah. You're like, you're going to die. It's working so far. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, you know... Or like bloodletting is working right. so far. Until it's like because you haven't dies. gotten blood loss yet, simply right. because you didn't let out enough blood. But it didn't mean it. Well, actually I mean, it seems anything. like it because they're getting their, their objective is to get down really quick. Then it's then it is working, but that doesn't mean anything if you die when, at the end of the experiment, right? Or just like in the in the other analogy I was using with bloodletting, it's like it doesn't matter if just because it's not killing you outright yet doesn't mean it's not harming you and won't kill you eventually. Right. But I'm saying bloodletting it seems like, it never improves any of the metrics. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, Whereas jumping down and just like the economy. Seems to be improving them because there's a massive influx of dollars, and right. there seems there's fake prosperity because we're just exporting dollars and getting things, right? Yeah, real exactly. things in the meantime. We're exporting dollars and, and constantly creating credit dollars and, and everything else, you know. Debt money, yeah. They're um, of course they had like our growth was only like point two percent or something, and it, it, one of those reasons because there's massive inventory builds up from a lot of businesses yeah. that they're just like they're paying for a lot of shit because there's so much free cheap money out there, right? That, but if you take that away, like all the shit that they did and like built up without actually selling it or anything, right? If you remove all the inventory build up, are there would have been like a two percent like retraction, like a negative two percent growth, yeah. which would have been like a massive recession, right? And it which just, we never really got out of. Everyone's like, oh, another recession. Like, no, nothing honestly, has changed. a lot of like the the people the whose financial analysis I I trust, they um. Well, they recognize they, what debt does to the Right, system. but also they point out that we haven't really grown since, like, the 80s. Well, 70s or 80s, when you're talking about real wages. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, and just real finances. Like, it's it's been backed by credit, like, to such an well, extent. Yeah, there's just a lot more money now. It doesn't mean right. that there's more prosperity or more real things. There's just a lot more money. <laughs> right. The overall actual wealth has not really changed since, like, the, the end of the 19... The end of the World War II boom. Yeah. You know? Ever since like the late seventies, early eighties, it's just kind of coasted and the on the financial way you can get side away with using debt is if you do it productively. But when you're just shifting right, yeah. your consumerism, then it, right. it's just the only and it can't always work that way, of course. The only way debt is actually helpful is in the case basically what you you you're doing is you're betting on your future success. I'm gonna take a loan here because I believe strongly has, enough like that I said, what it has I'm to doing is productively. Right. But I'm saying that when you take out debt to buy a car months. Or sort of house or something that's not necessarily that's just shifting when you're paying right. it back. Yeah. Like when you, there's no difference really between like me buying a car with fifty thousand dollars now and pay, making payments for fifty thousand dollars over four years. You know, like either way, I have to have that money, right. and the debt just actually makes it more expensive. Right. So it's just shifting like my when I get the. Um, the but it's compounded the, upon that that reality of debt with the fact that since we have the fractional reserve yeah, system our and everything particular else, debt system, our particular debt system generates more money which reduces the value of the dollars. Right. It actually creates Also money. creates wealth for the financial sector which is not making anything except money. Right. There's no value being produced there. 
There's no value except to these people. So every time you actually banks. get a loan, not only does it do the cost shifting like I was talking about, yeah. it actually decreases the value of all of their money in existence right. because it's created at the uh, issuance of the It only creates loan. fake wealth for those who own banks and credit systems. Yeah. It doesn't create any, wealth for anyone who, well, who gives financial you, power, who not, gives you real things in exchange for these worthless dollars. Right, right, but yeah, <laughs> which is what we've been doing for. Right. But the problem is that, that that would have been the smart thing to do is if this entire century we've been getting real assets right. for this fake money. If we had been like just right, then it could bastards. have been the biggest scam if, of yeah, ever. If it yeah. turned out America was just a bunch of uncanny, well, that's uncaring what the bank, bastards. That's what the well, central bank banks, is. Yeah. But the people have actually just been getting a bunch of crap. Right, worthless college education. But I mean, I might even have inflating. I would have moral prices. qualms, but I might at least have some begrudging respect if it turned out all the rulers of America had this whole time just buying up chunks of every other country and then being like, "Guess what? All the money's fake, but we still own well, they're all buying this up gold. chunks of this country." Right, but instead they're just buying up chunks of their own country and selling off real assets to other countries. Yeah, I mean, it depends on who you look at, though. Not the real elite players aren't doing that. You know what I mean? Like they're they have yeah. gold and everything else. They have real estate. No, but I mean like selling off pieces of America, like to other countries yeah, and shit. They don't like give that. a shit. They're not like right. nationalists. That's what I'm saying. They're not. Yeah. You know, it's not. They're not doing it for some like screw the rest of the world, go America. They're doing it for screw the rest of everyone else, go, go me. me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so they don't care. But anyways, we're at an hour. Yeah. It sounds like it's still raining. And it probably weather. is. We need to find some humors to go out on. Okay, how about... Oh, wait, I already talked about that. <laughs> Bad people. Bad people. There was something else that was, Bad people. That I was thinking of that would have been funny. Well, like I said, I mean, just, just to harp on that one more time. It's like, it's not that you can't be fat and happy. It's just that don't be fat, happy, and a liar. And right. be saying, well, it's hilarious me people, being fat is more... I'm as attractive as I was because I'm confident. It's getting to the point Who's now that they're just like kidding? lambasting the, the skinny people. They're not even saying like, oh, I'm happy. Because like I said, it's like the beach bum. Right, the guy yeah. who's really happy in what he's doing doesn't run around like bitching about how like oh I'm nobody so else happy. is acknowledging no his one happiness. acknowledged that I'm like happy the way I am. He just that's his life and that's what he wanted. So fuck everybody else. Right? Yeah. Exactly. He's like he's not like that dude in that one video. It's like my only job is to make sure the sun's out and the gir- or the waves are up and the girls are out. Or yeah, something exactly. Like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That guy gives a fuck that guy's that a bitch. Think that that guy's like, a true. You think anyone gives a that guy gives a fuck that anyone thinks that he's like a loser? Right. Yeah. That guy does not give a shit. That. His status as a loser is everyone else's opinion of him being a loser is not slowing his life down. Ain't nothing gonna break at his stride. Yeah, exactly. So then there are fat people that are like that. It's still not benefit. The, that's the problem. Is it's never beneficial to be fat. Like they act like it's beneficial right, to be it, unattractive. Unlike other things, that's an actual health right. issue. I mean, you could be unattractive for other reasons that you can't control. Like, sorry, you were just born with a, a, a ugly face. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Sounds cool, but like that acknowledging that, like, they're sort of coming out and admitting that they can't have a positive self-image unless they're considered attractive. Right. So instead, the message should be: you don't have to be physically attractive or smart or strong or whatever to have a positive self-image. Their message is I've everyone's pro- attractive, so have a positive self image. Right, exactly. Because yeah. even ugly people are They're not are saying that the soul or the person can have value They're aside saying, from their physical body. They're just trying to change body. the definition well, of that goes back to what I'm saying about like the phys- you know, everything's materialistic now. So they try to change the definition of attractive so that they are it. Right. Because to say that you can be a good person and not be an and attractive person. Just enjoy life person as just a, a is human an, being. And, you know, antithetical to their worldview. Because it shows that they're the ones who really are putting so much emphasis on physical beauty. So instead, of, but in the, the way they're trying they're to do not, it is just by it. changing the definition of it. Changing the definition so that they they're are not physically really beauty. saying that, like, it doesn't matter. They're saying it does and everyone's beautiful. Right. That's it how does we're matter make sure. because you should look at me as beautiful. Right. But not it that. matters so you have to make sure I'm beautiful somehow. Right. Instead of saying it doesn't matter if you're physically attractive. I mean, yeah, life sucks. It's, it's really not fair. Hard. Not all of us are born I mean, awesome. That's the thing. Like, it's, whatever. Right. Like, some people are going to be smart. Some people are going to be tall. Some people right. are going to be yeah. short. Like, to have, like, you could pick anything. I would have loved to have been born be... He-Man or Superman, right. but it I didn't mean, work out that way. <laughs> and to act like, then they're the ones who are putting so much importance on it. Just by saying this person is not physically attractive. So what? Like, not everyone can be physically attractive. Right. Not everyone can be tall. Not everyone's going to be smarter than average. It's, I don't under, it's this ridiculous that they... And instead of... The message should be you can still have, you know, value yourself and everything. You don't care. Like, Right. Well, ridiculous. like I said, I think it goes back to just the way people view everything. Like, people are not valuable unless they can do something these days. You know, it's, it's like... Or that you're the best. I don't know what it is exactly. But it's just like, yeah. Like, there, there's no concept. Like, they tout it as if there is... People are valuable just by being people. 
but they don't really believe that. They don't really believe that, exactly. And it's evidenced by their actions. Evidenced by them being so scared that you'll notice that they're not attractive or not the best at something. Right, exactly. And then it's like, it's like they they do not believe that humans have an inherent in creator endowed value or something like that, or every human being is part of yeah, the cosmic conscious really believe. Or see, that's the bottom whatever, line. They whatever don't really believe they have philosophy. value, even as an unattractive person. Because if they did, they wouldn't care if they were perceived as attractive or not. And they say they don't, but it's obviously well. Not I mean, true. you would care in just the base amount that everybody wants to be the best they can be, right? Every right. human being has aspiration for more than they are. Right. You know, like I know I cannot jump over a house, but if that capability, like if I thought that I could train to do that, I probably yeah, would. Yeah, that's not my awesome. point. I'm talking about having but, like self image invested in that. Like you don't right, have yeah, to. Like, I don't, no, neither I don't of us are like, at night, like obviously but, oh, we're, God. we're above average intelligence. But no, neither neither of us are genius level intelligence, and yeah. we don't have like ego invested. Like oh, yeah, genius should be anything over a hundred IQ. Right. Like, yeah. No, exactly. it's like, there's genius. I did this there. on the SAT, so that means I'm a, I should be in medicine. Right, there's geniuses out there. Make me in There's geniuses out there. We're not a genius. Who fucking cares? Right, like, yeah. if, if I could hit a button and become a genius, would I? Sure, because there's value to that. Right. But it's right. not in, like, my self-image is not, like, damaged because I'm not the smartest person in the world. Right, Because exactly. I'm not the most attractive person in the world either. Right, exactly. That's I think we've point. done pretty well being above average in almost every category that exists, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like, I mean, you know, and I, I would concede that some of it is cool with it because I'm a little, you know, not but the point on the stands, low end of the like, spectrum. You know, but at the same time... Be, that's saying it's not saying that a human being's value is purely in all the physical aspects of their intelligence, their their mental capacity, their physical capacity, and their physical uh, attractiveness. Like, but that's you know, what they believe. Is that that's that's the only way that they can see because they don't have they don't really think there is value to a human life. I guess. Other yeah, than that. that's that's literally what it is. There is no value to human life other than your genetics to them, and so it, you, either your genetics are make you look good and, and or like your value to society. I think that's what it is really. Is yeah. it's your value to like society? Yeah, and as it's, an it's true, it person, comes from a lot of collectivism, right? Because too. if you if you really think there's value to yourself, you don't really care how you perceive as like what you look like when someone light bounces off you and hits someone else's eye. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, why does do you care what they see? I mean, everybody cares to a certain extent because there's a like I said, there's always been a level that everybody value, cares. Not like do you care? But yeah, at all. it becomes that existential crisis. Right. It's a value statement. Worry, thing. like you can look at the spectrum of human beings, and you should be able to say. Objectively, these people are more attractive than these. Right, but I'm saying without saying like what I'm saying is I acknowledge that it, there is a bit of a value statement at all times, and that an attractive person is probably always going to have more friends than an unattractive. That's person. That's not a value statement. That's just a fact. Right, but We're I mean, not more friends, but you mean they're going to be perceived as more attractive? Because that's the point. Is that they, right? So more people will be interested friends. in what they say and do because yeah. they're attractive. So they will have more acquaintances. Than an unattractive person, I and mean, that is a value statement in the fact well, that they can accrue more attention. Someone could be. But yeah, they could be a total asshat and very attractive yeah, and they yeah. just turn everybody off. So it's not, it doesn't, but I'm saying it's like, not it is, causal. I am saying it, it, it is a value statement in that it is definitely better to be strong than weak. It is definitely better to be attractive yeah, again, than weak. Again, that's not attractive. a value statement. But no, well, there's more, there, you have more concrete capacity, benefits from more these concrete things. benefits. So that's not a value but it's statement. not a value statement about the person as a person. Well, that's my whole point. You're not making a, a uh, value statement about the value of the human being. You're right. saying that there's a benefit, just like there's having there's a benefit to having more money than there is having less. That doesn't mean that rich people are better people than poor people. Right, exactly. Exactly. But I'm saying like, yeah, they can't I'm saying they're conflating those two value statements and they can't separate them. Yeah. They can't look at the value statement of it's obviously better to have money than to not have money, but it doesn't mean you're a better person or you know, yeah. because you do have it. You know. That's why I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna sell my I'm gonna open up a internet cafe in Korea. Yeah, there you go. Open twenty. Well, open twenty five seven. Right. Yeah. yeah with, with IV, IV drips, drips. And toilet seat. Right. Exactly. Uh, chairs. <laughs> you don't have to pass out anymore. And one that sends uh, uh, you input your name and it sends texts to your family that make them think you're out and doing things. Right. <laughs> it like checks in and Facebook like right, at yeah. the gym. Right. Yeah, the exactly, gym. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I was my new girlfriend and all the traditional Asian we'll families like, oh, thank we'll God. Just call it the gym. Yeah, at the gym. At the gym. Yeah, that's the name of the internet. <laughs> Still at the gym. Still like, at the gym. This guy's a savage. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Photoshop their heads on the pictures of like muscle bodies. Right. <laughs> like very obviously because it's right. just like an algorithm that they're does like, it. They're like pale, like crooked right. face, yeah, right, yeah. dehydrated. Right. Yeah. And like like takes a screenshot of that right. from a webcam from the every so many hours, like drooling, like, like, like under their chest. Yeah. You know, like. And then the, there's like this ripped, like flawless body. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Like, exactly. You've been at the gym for six days now. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like, yeah. So on that note, English and English solving the world's problems.
talk to you guys next week. Peace. Later.